All right, Jacob, we're going to do a test right now called free association. Um, I just need you to relax and say whatever comes to your mind, no matter if it's embarrassing or trivial. I just need to hear your inner thoughts. So I'm going to let you go ahead and start doing that here in a minute. and then. Well, uh, what's on my mind lately? You know, I'm just so set on being in the rodeo. Like, that is my dream. Like, I work hard every day as at my job as a janitor to be in the rodeo. Like, so I can get enough money to go to school, rodeo school, so I can be in the rodeo. But my father always wanted me to be in the military. That is just, you know, it's just not for me. And I just feel all this pressure all the time to be in the military. And, you know, the Peace Corps is really just my calling. Like, I fit in there. I feel like, you know, I feel like the rodeo is just where I belong. Like, in the middle of the stage, in the mud, you know, riding that big old bull. That's just where I belong. That's very interesting. Well, I think we have enough, so we're going to move on to um, some more tests. And um, we'll get back to you. All right, Jacob, I've got uh, one more test right here for us. This is the Rosarch inkblot test. I'm going to show you, I have two inkblots here. I'm going to show you a picture of each of them, and then you have to tell me the first thing that comes to mind when you see them. Yeah, whatever it is. All right, so what is this one? Uh, it's a poisonous tarantula death spider. Oh, okay. So let me, all right. And all right, so um, here's the second one. What do you uh, What do you think about this one? Excuse me. Oh, um. Looks like two little children on a seesaw. Oh, okay, interesting. Okay, one more test. This is a thematic apperception test. I'm gonna show you this painting, and I need you to create a story from only the painting. Can you, all right, so look at this. Oh, it's easy. Look, what the artist is clearly trying to describe is that, see, the mirror, the girls are dancing on the mirror. This picture represents society. In modern day society, girls are obsessed with their image. So they're dancing around the mirror. Okay, so obsessing you, over their obsessing their reflection. Over the image. Right. Okay. Okay, so what do you, how do you feel about the the fiddler sitting here on the piano? The fid, the fiddler. Oh. Um, he's obviously playing uh, music for the girls to dance to. Uh, probably a ballad or something lovely of this sort. Oh, okay, interesting. Okay, well, <clears throat> we've got one more test after this, and then we'll um, we'll let you go. Fabulous. So, okay, Mike, we've diagnosed you. My name is Ivan. Right, Ivan. We've diagnosed you with dissociative identity disorder. It is where you create two or more identities that control the majority of your behavior and actions. So the treatment for this is hypnosis. So. Are you okay with hypnosis? Um, I mean, sure, if it'll make me better. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm going to ask you to sit back, relax, and fix your gaze on a high spot on the wall of the ceiling. <coughs> All right. Let's see what I'm doing this. <laughs> okay. Your eyes are growing tired. Eyelids heavy. Now heavier and heavier. Beginning to close, even. You are more deeply relaxed. Your breathing is now deep and regular. Your muscles are more and more relaxed and your body feels like lead. Your eyes are shutting so tight you wouldn't be able to open them if you wanted to. Okay. Mike, forget the number six. Any memory of the number six you have is gone. Now I'm going to ask you to, on your fingers, I want you to count your fingers. One, two... Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, thank you. Put your hands back down. Okay, Mike. You are not Ivan. You are not Jacob. You are Mike. You grew up in North Carolina and lived with your abusive father, which led you to repress your memories, and you left home one day and forgot all of your past. You created two separate identities, Jacob and Ivan, and moved to Texas. You are not Ivan, 
you are not Jacob. I'm going to ask you to wake up on the count of three, and you will be Mike again. You will not be Ivan, and you will not be Jacob. One, two, three. <laughs> Mike, tell me about your artwork. Oh, stop it. His name isn't Mike. I don't know what you're talking about. I need to. I, why is that even here? Oh, look, I'm done with this. Can I leave? Like, obviously, you have the wrong person. You're looking for this Mike character. My name's Jacob. I'm getting out of here. I have two ink blots here. I'm going to show you each of them. And I need you to tell me the first thing that comes to mind when you see these pictures, okay? <sighs> yeah, whatever. Okay. Here's the first one. So. <laughs> okay, Jacob, uh, I've got our neck test. It's called the Rosarch ink blot test. I've got two ink blots here. I'm going to show them each to you. And uh, I'm going to show you this first one. And I just need you to tell me the first thing that comes to mind. Okay? Yeah, whatever, dude. Um. <laughs> no, you. All right, Jacob, we've just got uh, a couple more tests to go. Uh, this one's called the uh, Rosarch ink blot to ink. Okay, Mike, we've come to a conclusion. Ivan, my name's, right. my name's Ivan. You've come. Alright, we've diagnosed you with multiple, er, not multiple personalities, oh my god! So, Ivan, tell me about your artwork. Um, well, I like to use lots and lots of colors. I think uh, the more colors, uh, the more attention-grabbing the artwork. Oh, so you like using, like, bright colors, like yellow and pink and such? Mm-hmm, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it depends on what mood I'm in.